Iron Eyes Geese presents Light Out. Everybody. people seem to have the idea that cruelty between human beings is an invention brought on with the machine age. Tonight's play, however, goes back to another day and another machineless time, when man's inhumanity to man was quite the same. But first, Frank Martin for Iron Eye Geek. Do you keep watching the clock because you're so run down and jittery, so often overtired that it seems the day will never end? If that's how you feel, and if vitamin B1 and iron shortage is what's to blame... For your own sake, try ironized yeast tablets. These pleasant little tablets give you vitamin B1 plus iron. They've been of splendid benefit to men and women who were deficient in these vital substances. Help them regain glorious strength, energy, and needed pounds, often in just a few short weeks. That's right. The name is ironized yeast tablets. And now, light out. Everybody. The time, Russia, and the time of the stars. The place, the dread, cold, bleak island of Sakhalin, off the coast of Siberia, where the imperial ruler sent political prisoners to a living death. Come in. Come in, Sergeant. Stop that noise. Come in. Uh, your time, is... Yes, yes. Why do you stand there? What is it? Speak up, you empty head. Your Highness, the prisoners are already there in the courtyard. Oh, yes, yes, the prisoners. I've been looking forward to this. Quickly, a gun. They are here at the window, Your Excellency. Ah, yes, so they are. Ah, loaded and ready, eh, Yakov? You are becoming quite efficient. Thank you, Your Excellency. Three little pigeons, their faces to the wall, awaiting the will of God. Only in this instance, my benediction is a lead bullet. Well, open the window and we... What are you doing? Uh, Marina, as usual, my dear, you are just in time. This spot is just about to begin. What? What is it? Uh, come to the window. Yes. You see them there, faces to the wall. Well? The human head is much more interesting target than a bit of paper tacked against the wall, eh, little Marina? Oh, but what have they done? Does that matter? Poor men, they are constantly getting into trouble. It must be wonderful. Uh, what? To know that you hold the lives of 2,000 men in your hands. To know that whenever you will it, you can crush the hand into a stick. <laughs> Yakov, the window. Yes, Your Excellency. You hear, Marina? Mercy. Yes. I'll give them mercy. <laughs> See, a perfect shot. Oh, you do not try to kill them at once, Herr Reniko. Oh, I'm ruined this spot. A shot here, a shot there. It's most amusing. Let me try with a short, fat one. You? <laughs> All right, why not? I never knew there could be such sport on this accursed A man of cleverness can always find sport, even in a frozen cell. Well, shoot. <laughs> Achlino, Achlino. Look at him flop around like a wounded duck. A very fat duck. Ah, what a pair we make, Marina. Quickly, give me the gun. There is yet another. Uh, no, wait. Uh, I'll get another gun. We will shoot together. Such sport. I told you you would have an enjoyable time on Sahalin, my little Marina. I told your you that... Excellency, I... Your Excellency, the just Your Excellency. Well, well, what is it? Can't you say, busy? What do you want? If Your Excellency, please, a message, an official one from St. Petersburg. Well, well, give it to me, you fool. Give it to me. Yes, Your Excellency. What is it? What? Jacob. Oh. Shut the window. Yes, I see. At the same time, a spy caught by me, the meddling fool, the bureaucratic fool. I could kill them. I could kill them all. Why must they meddle? Why won't they leave me alone and suspect us and 
Pencroff, control yourself. What is it? What have they ordered you to do? You must kill me. Quickly, what is the news? Worst, worst news is the government is sending another one of their infernal inspectors. Oh. For two years, they've let me alone. For two years. And now another one of those fool inspectors. You must not get here. But, Pencroff, what is the difference? While he's here, all can be peaceful and quiet. <laughs> a kindergarten full of dissatisfied little children. It is not what I do to the prisoners that concerns them. It is my account. Your account? Marina, listen to me. I told you that in two more years I could retire you with me to life befitting a gentleman. Yes. Where do you think the money comes from? I will tell you. From the coal mines near Onor. From the salt mines on the northern end of this island. From the gold in this Oh. I quickly discovered when they sent me here that a clever man could make a good thing out of the enforced labor of these miserable prisoners. And I have made a good thing. Two more years. Ah, but now this infernal inspector. He will make his report. Investigation. I'll be ruined. Marina Petrovna, that man must not get here. He must not get here. You will find a way. Who will I? Yakov, come here. You thick-headed fool, must I yell my lungs out? Come closer. Come closer. Your Excellency? You were drunk again last night. Drunk? I oh, oh, no, Your Excellency. Close your no, mouth. No. I've had enough of your drunkenness. Perhaps if it... No, a hundred lashes with a whip will teach you a lesson. <gasps> the brave sergeant's face grows green with fright. It is death, Your Excellency. Mm, you know that only too well, eh, Yakov? They have died under your whip with fewer than... Your mercy, days. Excellency. I will do anything you want. Anything. You are oh, mercy, 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 Excellency. Stop your sniveling and mercy. listen to me closely. <laughs> there is a certain man destined to arrive in Nikolaeva within two weeks. He'll be in charge of the boat, which is to bring him across the 30 miles of very treacherous water, which very fortunately separates us from the mainland. If during this most dangerous trip, there should be a little accident... Well, Marina. <laughs> you are very clever, Renikov. We are ready, honored one. Well, Sergeant, very thoughtful of Commandant Renikov, I must say, sending an entire squad of soldiers to give me safe conduct. But I doubt if all the Tars armies could count the waters between us and Sakhalin. Now, could they? The passage is always very rough, Your Excellency. Tell me, uh, how many miles across? Uh, Thirty, Your Excellency. Commandant Renikov has made your safe arrival my personal responsibility. Well, the wind is getting stronger, if anything. That's a mighty small launch for so much angry water, Sergeant. I uh, I have made the crossing hundreds of times, Your Excellency. There, There is no danger. How much further, Sergeant? Only five miles. Five miles too many as far as I'm concerned. It certainly would be in a situation if the engine stopped. If you will excuse me, Your Excellency, I will make sure everything is in order. Of course, of course. Under the sound of it, that engine needs attention. Go ahead. Possible, possible. What are you doing? 
Se passar outra prova da Twain e nos compas, Sargent, Twain, the Rover, was drowned. Sargent, don't! The devil takes that talk. Just as launch sinks, the devil's fog comes rolling. Infernal telescope. We can see nothing. Your, your Excellency. Your Excellency. Sergeant. Sergeant, how did you... Your Excellency, I, I have come to report. Your soul. Dripping uh, wet. Uh, you did not serve. Uh, I am the best swimmer on the island, Your Excellency. You're tired. Uh, yes. No, no, Your Excellency, the chair, my wife. Sit down. Uh, yes, Your Excellency. Now then, tell me what happened to everyone. Yes, Your Excellency, I did just as you ordered. And the infernal inspector, the guard, Michael Bashev, he saw him drown. With my own eyes, they all drowned. Only I lived. Michael Bashev is dead. With my own eyes, I saw it. I thought I would never make it. The waves were so strong, never stronger. Ah, but it was worth it, Sergeant. Now you should be the water. Yes, you bought it. You are very kind, Your Excellency. My kindness is exceeded only by my good nature. <laughs> this straw always speaking. I, I, here it is. Your reward, my dear son. Anything you give me, Your Excellency? Anything. <laughs> you like your reward, Sergeant. Why don't you say something, eh? Speak up. Uh, oh, what a pity. The bullet hit you in your ugly mouth, Sergeant. Uh, yes. Yakov, the Sergeant. To him, I entrusted the safe delivery of the Tsar's representative, the Honorable Michael Bashev, to my presence. Michael Bashev, dead. Gentlemen, it's time for a deep breath or two and a moment of relaxation. Before we go on with tonight's lights out story, the story of a murderous tyrant and the rush of the stars, let's return for a moment to our own times and the problem that may be troubling you tonight. Uh, problem's no name for it. You know, I'm making the best money I've made in years, and what good is it to me? It's a jittery knowledge. I can't enjoy good food. Day's work often leaves me too tired out to feel like having any fun. I'm losing weight and losing sleep. I can't understand it. Perhaps a well-known nutrition authority has the answer. He says, improper eating due to wartime living may cause a person to become deficient in vitamin B1 and iron, two substances essential to normal weight, strength, and energy. Well, but how can I get more vitamin B1 and iron if I don't get enough from my food? Get ironized yeast tablets. They give you both vital substances, vitamin B1 with iron. Thus, when you need them, Ironized yeast helps you two ways to regain weight and pep and strength. Say, maybe I'd better try ironized yeast tablets. For your own sake, do if you're short vitamin B1 and iron. Then see if before long you aren't saying, Man, oh man, do I feel great. My jitters are gone. Now I enjoy three square meals a day again. That fagged out feeling's a thing of the past. I'm sure glad I tried ironized yeast tablets. And now back to our lights out story of Sakhalin. Arrenikov, <laughs> 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 you are so clever. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. oh, you are so strong. You will like me always. Oh, why should I? Oh, I have this strength. <laughs> wow. Now there is no one to stop me. <laughs> yes, now the stars <laughs> inspect us, inspect the bottom of the sea. <laughs> 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 Whoever it is, I'll flay his skin off. I told him not to disturb me here tonight. Come in. Come in. Commandant Renikov. Who? Who are you? My credentials, Commandant. Credentials? I am Michael Bashev. Ordered to report to you by His Majesty, the Tsar of all the Russians. You are Michael Bashev. But the boat, the boat, you drowned. <laughs> no, not quite, Commandant. Some natives a few miles away found me when I crawled up on the beach. I assure you, I almost enjoyed that swim. Welcome, uh, Michael Bashev. Welcome to Shahalin. Thank you, Commandant. 
I assure you, I will make my inspection complete, fair, and a short one. I, I will do my best to help you. You are so strong, Michael Bashir. Am I? Oh, your muscles, they crawl under the skin of your arms. Let's go in. Oh, no, no. Stay out here a little longer with me. Oh, don't you like little Marina at all, Michael Bashir? I have work to do. Work? His Majesty sent me here for a very definite purpose. Oh. I must obtain accurate information of the income of gold mines and other activities of the prisoners on this island. Such accurate information is... Valuable to you, Michael. The Tsar's order. And if you could get accurate information quickly, it would be worth a great deal to you. I cannot leave until I do. If I told you the truth about what's going on here, would you take me with you back to St. Petersburg, Michael Barshev? What? Would you take me back to St. Petersburg, Michael? I want to go with you, Michael. I want to leave this place. I want to go with you wherever you go. Oh, you are strong, Michael. I love strength. I love you. These few days I've known you, I have learned that. Marina. Marina Petrovna. <laughs> we are here, Commandant, in the shadows. Ah. You here too, Michael Baxter. I did not see you. Yes, we were resting. Marina here has been showing me around the barracks. Oh. I, uh, I was entertaining our guests as you wanted, Trenikov. Where, where are you standing there long, my dear? You mean around the corner? Yes. Uh, yes, I was just wondering. I have been praising you so much to Michael that I was just wondering if you heard all I said. Unfortunately, no. You will come inside, Marina. Inside? Uh, why? Uh, the post has come. There's a letter for you from St. Petersburg. Oh, oh, I have been expecting it. Uh, yes, I know. Uh, you will excuse us, please, uh, Michael Buster. Yes, of course. After you, Marina. Yes. Letter, Renikoff, where is it? Letter? What letter? No, 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 do not tease me. You said there was a letter for me from St. Petersburg. Did I? I, I have done nothing. Come here to me. What? Here, to me. Renikoff. You always said my arms were strong. Not now. I... No, I will hold you close now. Close, like this, while I tell you. Renikoff. That you are the devil's own daughter. Renikoff. Betray me oh, to no. him. No. You thought I did not hear. No. I did every word, every word of your treachery. If I give you the information, you will take me to St. Petersburg, my Michael Bashev. My strong Michael Bashev. You wretched woman. I could kill you. No, no, no. You always broke my hands, my strong hands. You said you were strong. You thought for me, you betrayed me to you. I'll choke you within an inch of your life. Within an inch, I tell you. I'll take all the command. I'll keep you to betray me. You'll never dare speak another word. You'll never speak. Yes, yes, I listen. Two days later, the Cossacks came. In the name of the Tsar, they said. The Tsar, he was to blame, Your Excellency. He... Yes, the Tsar and you. And the, the court, the judge, to Sakhalin by the 
order of the Tsar, they said. You hear, Your Excellency? Again, the Tsar. The Tsar, my persecutor. The Tsar. The Tsar. So you would like to revenge yourself against the Tsar, old man? Uh, I would give my last drop of blood. Come closer. You know the stranger that has come here, the man they call Michael Baskin. I know. He wishes to go on a little hunting trip today. I have heard you are well versed in the haunts of the game around the bay. Yes, Your Excellency. Yes. Old Brugger knows where the rabbits are, and the foxes too. I wish my guest, Michael Basha, to have a very successful hunting trip. He's a very important man in St. Petersburg. To no one but the, he is the nephew of our little father, the Tsar. The Tsar? Yes, yes. Michael Basha, with whom you are to go out alone on a hunt today, is really a nephew of the Tsar. And he is a great favorite of his blessed uncle. You will be all alone with him for the entire day. The nephew of the Tsar. You understand? Mm -hmm. uh, this revolver, you know how to use a revolver, old man. Mm -hmm. I give it to you in violation of all regulations. And you know why? Because I want you to take good care of his excellency, the nephew of our merciful Tsar. Good care. You understand? The nephew of the merciful well, old man, there ought to be rabbits in this field. No. Short, but me. You must like to walk. No. <laughs> well, I must say the commandant gave me a very talkative guide this morning. No, no, no. That's all I've heard from you since we started out. Well, I don't suppose that the man who has been in prison on this godforsaken place as long as you have much to talk about. Tell me, how many years have you been here? Years, nothing. No, I suppose not. See those birds? Uh, too bad Marina Petrovna couldn't come with us this morning. Strange she should get ill so suddenly. Do you know what happened to her, Bruga? Yeah, then I suppose you don't. <laughs> 